So basically here we got a couple examples of the herringbone carpet. This one's the OG, the Minotaur. Has a nice little floppiness to it. It's got that beautiful herringbone as well. It's got that little side stitching too. Mm -hmm. See the the wizard's got it as well, but it doesn't have the the side stitching. It just has the regular stitching right there. So feels feels just as good, you know, nice and floppy and hole friendly. Beautiful artwork. And the new one that I just got over here is the uh, Buzz by Killer Bee Cornhole. It's got the herringbone as well. It's got the regular side stitching. Seems like everybody's uh, doing the herringbone now. I think mostly because it's got a really good, nice good grip when you pinch. Feels good. This is the x-ray. It's basically the uh, the Minotaur. But it's got the uh, extra liner on the inside to protect whenever it uh, starts to wear out or it busts. That way all the beads don't come out. Because when you first get it, you know, it's nice and pretty like this. And then as it wears, wears through, it starts to... Some of the V pattern starts to kind of come loose. See that? And then eventually, boom, it just totally comes loose. Except with the x-ray, you get the extra layer of protection. See that? That way you don't have any beads coming out. Something they uh, came up with. See the old school, see this is a Minotaur. When it would bust, well, quite simply, you get beads that come out. So, little innovation. So, yeah, I mean, it, it looks ugly once it busts, but the cool thing is you can still use this bag to practice. You know, let's say you don't want to risk damaging any more of your herringbone bags. Well, you can keep on practicing with this one because those beads aren't going anywhere. That was my parrot. So, that is the one thing that the x-rays got that all the other herringbones don't have is the extra layer on the inside and the beautiful side pinstriping. Just beautiful. But, they're all beautiful bags. Look at this.